So could you tell us a little bit about the role of a guidance counselor? As a guidance counselor, I think we have three main roles. We do academic support, so helping kids with course selection, level selection, things like that. Um, we also do pathway support, so um, planning for post-secondary, uh, doing career research, and then we also do interpersonal support, so working with students for their own mental health, um, helping with peer support, family support, things like that. So that kind of leads into the next question then. So what are you as a guidance counselor trained to help with in terms of mental health problems? So I've taken courses in anxiety, addictions, depression. I've taken the ASSIST training, which is suicide intervention skills. So I have just done a lot of additional courses to help prepare myself. So how do you help students with their mental health? I feel a guidance counselor is kind of the access point for students. Maybe they're struggling in a class, uh, maybe they've had a fight at home or a fight with friends, and as a guidance counselor we help them work through those problems and maybe refer them to where they need to go. So if they need additional support, we can refer them to our school board counselors. But we also have an open door policy. So if there's someone having a bad day, they're free to come in anytime they need to. So high school probably has two of the biggest transitions in a student's life, right? Coming from grade eight into grade nine and then from going into grade 12 into post-secondary. So guidance plays a big role in that. So what are some of the things that you do to help with those kinds of transitions? We do have uh, transition days where we bring our students in from theater schools and give them an orientation so they begin to get comfortable in the school. But we also let students know that they're free to come in more than just those orientation days. So as a guidance counselor, we're here the week before school starts. If I have students in grade eight that are worried about coming, they're welcome to come in that entire week before school starts. And and we do tours to their classrooms and we get used to where their locker is and that just seems to ease a lot of that stress. It can be really overwhelming for students who, even if they know where they're going, aren't quite sure how to make it happen or some students that don't know where they want to go. So what does guidance do in those kind of situations? We encourage them to make frequent appointments and guidance um, and we make sure we explore all of the pathways with them. And talking to students about, uh, this is just the first phase after high school. This isn't making a decision for the rest of your life. So I try and focus on um, what is it you want to do next and picking something you're going to enjoy next, not looking at it as forever. I mean, there's the big success seeing someone graduate and go on to post-secondary, but there's also every little thing, like if a student's having trouble getting here, just seeing them start improving their attendance. So the little things make a big difference. Wonderful, thank you. Mm -hmm.